MotorWeek is made possible by Cars.com. Your host for MotorWeek, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to MotorWeek. We're glad to have you with us. The Lexus Garage has been in the green car game ever since they began selling the RX400H hybrid utility back in 2005. But it and other Lexus hybrids have been spin-offs of existing models. No hybrid-only efforts like the parent company's Toyota Prius. Well, that changes with the arrival of the Lexus HS250H, the world's first dedicated hybrid-only luxury car. Think of it as Prius goes posh. And although admittedly there may be quite a few parallels to the Toyota Prius, the 2010 Lexus HS250H is very much a hybrid unto itself. For starters, the HS shares its chassis not with the Prius, but with the Toyota Avensis, Europe's answer to our Camry. The HS250H wheelbase, 106.3 inches, is the same as the Prius, but the overall length, 184.8 inches, is about 9 inches longer. The HS250H also looks nothing like the Prius five-door hatchback. Rather, the HS is the spitting image of a compact four-door premium sedan with just a bit of a sporty flair. Aerodynamics were certainly a priority, but not at the expense of beauty. Still, the nose starts low for optimal airflow, rising from a Ford-style wide bar grille flanked by available LED headlamps. Down below are 17 or 18-inch alloy wheels in three styles. At its core, Lexus employs its first four-cylinder engine combined with the latest Lexus hybrid drive system. As opposed to the Prius's 1.8-liter, this Lexus fits a larger 2.4-liter Atkinson Cycle inline 4, the same one found in the Camry Hybrid. Output for the 2.4 alone is 147 horsepower and 138 pound-feet of torque. Total hybrid tandem output is a quite adequate 187 horsepower, or almost twice the Prius. There are two electric motors, one a 141 horsepower drive motor, and one being an engine starter and generator for the battery pack. To further boost fuel economy, an exhaust heat recovery system reduces warm-up time, so the engine will go into its automatic stop-start mode sooner. With a front-drive CVT automatic transmission, government fuel economy ratings are 35 city, 34 highway, and 35 combined. That's slightly better than the Camry Hybrid, but falls short of the Prius by a wide gap of 15 miles per gallon. The HS does share three driving modes with the Prius, EV mode for low-speed electric-only driving for up to one mile, Eco mode for slower throttle response to boost economy around town, and Power mode for improved performance for passing, merging, or just faster starts. The all-independent suspension uses double wishbones at the rear compared to a torsion beam on the Prius. The HS also has an optional touring package with shock damping tuned for sportier handling. But this is a hybrid, so how sporty can things get? Let's just say this. The HS250H is no doubt the most fun to drive gas electric we've driven to date. On the coastal roads of Southern California, the HS displayed plenty of pep and at no time did it feel underpowered. With surprisingly flat cornering, turn-ins are nice and sharp. The ride is Lexus quiet and plush and at highway cruising, the HS feels as refined as any luxury car out there. The 2.4 liter, however, does get a little buzzy when worked too hard. Otherwise, chances are you'll forget you're driving a hybrid. Inside, the cabin has a similar feel to the Prius, but again with its own execution. Some of the hard surfaces may seem a little unlexus like in quality, but these are plant-based eco-plastics to keep with the green goal. And there are still plenty of upscale touches like handsome wood trim on the doors and console. Seats come trimmed in leather with optional heat and ventilation. Controls have a sophisticated appeal, with a hybrid systems indicator taking the place of a traditional tack. But we didn't care for the shifter. It's halfway up the center stack and about three sizes too small. Overhead is a standard moonroof. 
and for safety there are 10 airbags plus an optional pre-collision system with dynamic radar cruise control and lane keep assist. The optional navigation and a premium Mark Levinson audio system are both controlled by Lexus's new and fairly notchy mouse style central controller. For even more user tech, there's an available head-up display and front and rear cameras for parking assist. The second row is comfortable for two adults with adequate legroom, but it is tight for three. The behind-the-seat battery pack means there's no fold-down or pass-through to the trunk, which offers a sizable 12.1 cubic feet of cargo space, enough room for four golf bags. Pricing for the HS250H was unannounced when we went to tape, but we expect a base price of about $32,000, a reasonable premium over the larger Camry hybrid that starts at $27,000. Lexus continues to lay down a greener road with the world's first hybrid-only luxury vehicle. The 2010 HS250H is a best of both worlds sedan that appeases two sides of a driver's mentality both their inner luxury enthusiasts and their eco-conscience. <laughs>